In this video, I want to walk you through how I use Scottify to find inventory to sell on Amazon. A little walkthrough tutorial of how to best use Scottify. When you're outsourcing, I do not do retail arbitrage without Scottify, and I will show you why in this video. So I'm going to show you a screen share capture of my phone while I'm using it, scanning items, and making sourcing decisions. So let's go take a look at that. All right, so here we are on my phone. So let's open it up. All right, so here we are on the Scatify main page. So I'm gonna click the little scan button here and we'll see what uh, we can start doing with when it comes to sourcing. All right, so I'm gonna scan this item right here and let's see what it comes up with. All right, this is a tactical copter model building set. Um, Right underneath the picture in the title, you can see the ASIN. That's the B00TZFZW1Q. And then we can see what the target's cost per unit would be to be profitable for this item. And then we can see the sales rank. And we can see that the sales rank currently is 77,810 out of 5.7 million toys. Now this is important to know, but when you click on the sales rank, Right now it's 77,810, but when you click on that, it transitions to tell you that it's in the top 1% of that 5.7 millions in toys. So that's pretty good to know that right now, while I'm looking at this, this sales rank is in the top 1%. Uh, it's also showing me that I have zero on hand right now. That means I've either uh, sold out before, if I've carried this before. Um, but you know what? It, that's, that's good information to have because... Uh, I know I don't have this in stock right now. Maybe if I had like 100 of them in stock and it showed me I had 100, maybe I might not buy it because I've got too many in stock already. So it's good to know how many of that item you have on hand. And then under that, you can see the cost per unit and you can actually go in and change that to whatever cost you are gonna be buying it at. So let's do that. I can put in my buy cost. My buy cost was actually $8, not 87, my goodness. $8, save my changes. And the cost per unit, $8. The list price, that is, I had, since I had it set up to match the buy box, that is the buy box. And it will tell me I'm going to net thirteen seventy one in profit, and the ROI is 171%. So that's pretty awesome. All right, under that, I see uh, the offer, profitability, and history. Uh, the offers shows me that there are four competitive offers right now. We'll get into that in just a moment. Uh, we can look at the profitability. That loads up the profitability here, and I don't have my sales tax information in here just because of the tutorial I'm wanting to do with you, but you can see that the cost is $8, the Amazon fees is about $9.21, list price is $30.92, which you can scroll down and see after shipping, I'm going to net $13.71. So if I merchant fulfill this, there's an $18.28 um, profit that I'm making, but it's worth it to me to make a little less with Amazon FBA because I'm outsourcing so much. I'm outsourcing the, the shipping and the warehouse and all that stuff. That's just totally worth it to me. So that's the, the profitability you can see right there on your screen to see if it's worth it. So that's the profitability and then you can take a look at the history and you can see that the sales history, I've never sold this ASIN before. If I scroll down, I could see that if I've ever purchased it before and if I had sold it before, uh, this, th this really good information to have. So let's go back to the four offers here. These are the uh, four offers that Amazon says are competitive offers. Let's talk about that. So you can see that there's a new column, a used column, and an FBA column. As an FBA seller, I ignore the other two columns and only look at the FBA column. That's my only real competition. And you can see that there is a very good condition item that is priced at $17.07. Then you see that there's two new prices that are around $30.92 or $0.93. Cents. The little N obviously sh uh, means that it's new. The little box next to that means that's the buy box price. If you're ever sourcing and you happen to see a little Amazon A logo right next to a price, that means that is the Amazon price that Amazon's in stock and that is the price they're selling it for. And so if I want to do any uh, research on this item and make sure that I'm, I'm making a really good sourcing decision, I can click on the little research button. That opens up a lot of different options for me to be able to do some research. I can look at the Amazon listing, I can look at just the Amazon Prime offers, 
I can look at Book Scouter if this is a book. I can look at the Keepa graphs. I can search on eBay to see what eBay uh, items are selling for on there. Check out Google, and I can do also double check Amazon restrictions right there. So I'm going to look at Keepa. I love Keepa and I love taking a look at that. So it loads up the Keepa graph very quickly. The Keepa graph comes up and I can just use my finger to, to move around and see all the information for for this item. I can see the, the prices uh, for, right now I have it set up where Amazon price, new price, used price are, are showing. If I want to start looking at the buy box, I can click on the little buy box button and it will tell me where the the buy box if there was a buy box price for that i can use my finger and just kind of you know scan back and forth to be able to get all the information that i want to see i can see that um hey even though amazon was priced at 35.99 um on this particular date the buy box was actually a third party seller selling it for 30.94 and so you can take a look at all the different types of, of options that are there. There was a warehouse deal for 1707. So much information that Keepa gives you. If you want training about how to use Keepa, offer a free training video, fulltimefba.com forward slash read Keepa, and that will give you that information that you need. And you can you know look at the different statistics um, and and see. I clicked on the little statistic tab. That gives me a lot of information. Um, like it can show me that the the average sales rank of this item over the last 90 days is 91,259. That makes it a good buy in my opinion. And uh, anyway, I, if you want more yeah information about Keepa graphs, fulltimefba.com forward slash read Keepa. So I've done the research, I've clicked done, and now I'm back on this page again, and I like it. So I'm going to add it to my buy list and. Uh, from there, I can make sure I have the right tax code if applicable, uh, the list price, I can change that, the purchase date, if this is a grocery item, I can type in the expiration date, I can I can add my supplier and just kind of go through my list and say, oh, hey, I bought this at Alco, so I'm going to add that, and there's my supplier, I can change the condition if I want to sell this in another condition, and um, even have an area at the bottom where I can type in some notes so that uh, if there's more information I need to remember. And then you can add it to your buy list and it will be added to your buy list that when you are done sourcing, you can email yourself the buy list, upload it to Inventory Lab and have all that information automatically added to Inventory Lab so that you don't have to go again one by one to enter this information in on Seller Central. Such a huge time saver. All right, let's take a look at another item. All right, so it's looking for that one. And this one, also really good, but if you can see in the bottom corner, the restrictions button was uh, just kind of popped up right there. And it wasn't on the last item that we looked at, but we are like, oh, this one has some restrictions. You can click on that restrictions button to see what you're restricted. And so I see the, under the allowed conditions, there's nothing, absolutely nothing under the allowed conditions, but under the restriction, restricted conditions, there's everything. So I am restricted to sell this item in any condition. And, uh, and so, yeah, there's nothing I'm allowed to sell. So this is an item I would put right back or thanks to the research button, I can take a look at research. I can look on eBay and just search really quickly if this is selling on eBay. And guess what? If it's selling on eBay, I'll still buy it, sell it on eBay, and still make some money. So I'm even using Scoutify to make money on eBay. All right, so let's say that I scan an item and the information comes up empty. I'm there, it says there's no items that match that particular UPC. You can also search with it by keywords. So I'm gonna search in this, leapfrog, leapster. Two. All right, so I'm going to scan that. Here we go. All right, this looks awesome. Now we're looking at Leapster 2, and oh, we see restrictions again. So first, before we even decide if it's a good buy, we should even see if it's sellable or not. So I look at the restrictions, and it says, okay, I can sell it in new or collectible conditions, but I am restricted in selling it in used conditions or refurbished. So since it's a toy, I can sell it in new or collectible condition, but just not 
used or refurbished conditions. And so you can go back and see that. So just because the restriction button pops up doesn't always mean that you are restricted from selling that. There might be some things that you are allowed to do, and this will tell you what you are allowed to do and what you're not allowed to do. Man, total game changer. Being able to know right up front what you're able to sell, what you're not able to sell saves you so much time and frustration from buying those items and then coming home and then realizing you can't send them in. Or maybe you send them in and you realize, oh, this thing is restricted, so it goes into stranded inventory. So this Scatify app just totally saves me time and money and frustration, and, uh, and I love it. All right, so I'm going to add this to my buy list. I was able to buy this for $25 and I'm done and you see right down here on the supplier it says Alco still because that's what I was sourcing at before. So you don't have to choose a supplier every single time. This option is sticky and will always be that way until I go to a different store and then when I do go to a different store I can change it to a different store. So that's another awesome feature that the supplier is sticky and does not change. Uh, so I'm gonna add that to my buy list. Now let's say that I find out later in the store, oh hey, I found another one of those helicopters that I sourced at before. I can go again over to the buy list. I can click on that helicopter and then I can change my quantity to two and save my changes. There it's saved and now I've got two of those. And when I'm ready to be able to, when I'm done sourcing and I've got, you know, a shopping cart full of stuff and, and I'm ready to start sending it to Amazon, I can just click on the little paper airplane icon and I can mail it right to myself and have it uh, in my desktop so I can just upload it to Inventory Lab seamlessly and get that ready to send to Amazon. Then when I'm done, I can just trash my buy list and just clear the list so that there's no confusion over the next time I go sourcing and uh, it's just super easy to do. So my active buy list is empty. You should add some stuff. Okay, Scatify, I'll go do some more sourcing. And then All right, so now you see how awesome Scatify is. And I tell you, what I am sharing with you is just scratching the surface of what is possible with using Scatify when you're doing retail arbitrage and making good sourcing decisions. So Man, I, I, th this is something that you just have to have when you are sourcing profitable inventory to sell on Amazon, especially when you are in stores and want something with just using your phone, making some really good decisions um, that will help you find profitable inventory. The way you get Scottify is to sign up for Inventory Lab. Inventory Lab comes bundled with Scottify. You can find out more about Inventory Lab, fulltimefba.com slash Inventory Lab. You can learn more about it. Basically, Inventory Lab is an all-in-one tool to manage your inventory and find inventory, make pricing decisions, uh, all sorts of information and, and opportunities for you to grow your business with Inventory Lab. There's reports you can run to see what's working in your business, what's not working. Man, just Inventory Lab alone is its own video. Um, I'll be, maybe I'll do that pretty soon um, when I learn how to talk. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it, so Scottify, you just you, you need to use this. FullTimeFBA.com slash Inventory Lab. Sign up for Inventory Lab. It comes bundled with Scottify, and you will wonder how you ever did sourcing with Amazon any other way. So this has been Steven Smotherman. Hopefully this video has been helpful for you. Uh, leave us a like and a comment if you want. And um, also be sure to sign up to get notifications of when new videos release. So subscribe to this YouTube channel. Hit the bell to be notified when new videos are dropped and so you don't miss out on anything. Anyway, great video. Hopefully this has been helpful. Have a great day, everybody. Talk to you all later. Bye.